So we're here in the Churnit Valley with Henry, the Pine Martin detection dog. Um, and the reason we're here is that I've been monitoring the woodlands here for wildlife um, based on historic records of pine martins in the area. Um, and we had a positive image of a pine martin uh, a few months ago. Um, we're not sure if they're living here or whether it was just one passing through. So the reason we have Henry here is to help us locate where the pine martins might be in the valley um, and he'll be able to show us better places to put our cameras in able to find the pine martins. Okay this is Henry. Henry's a rescue dog and he's a Springer Spaniel and he's eight years old and Henry is a pine martin scat detection dog and he's been operational for a good uh, six and a half years as a conservation dog and his speciality is to help find pine martin poo. So one of the jobs he does is we, uh, we, we do transect searches um, with our clients or with organisations and he's trained to find any uh, odour of pine martin and particularly the scats and that is the poo. And so once he finds any of the poo, he's trained to do a passive indication and what that means he doesn't actually interfere with the scat at all so that can be tested and DNA'd and we need to make sure that he um, has a nice sit or lie down indication. At the moment, if a pine martin poo has been left out in the area for quite a long time, obviously by the pine martin, there's a chance that there's a big scent picture. So Henry, he can find, he can fringe on the, the edge of the odour, it's called fringing, so he can actually work out where a pine martin has been and where a pine martin has previously uh, defecated and left a scat. And sometimes when a scat has kind of been degraded over time, he can help navigate areas where we should be able to put camera traps in. So it's highlighted hotspot areas for us. The last time there was a positive record of a pine martin in the valley was back in 2004. So to discover pine martins living in the Chernit Valley now would be really exciting. For the future, it would help us as the Wildlife Trust to find future areas for habitat creation. Um, and planting new woodlands would be great for pine martins, but there's loads of other species that extra woodland would be beneficial for.